The designs of Gudmundur Jöronsson stand out. His show in Reykjavik is a mix of science fiction and Nordic mysticism. Because the fashion industry is so young in Iceland, there are fewer conventions to consider. Jöronsson is 28 and one of a new wave of top international talents to hail from the north. I think it's inspirational to live here. It's definitely exotic and I think it's an it's an advantage probably being, you know, Icelandic, you know, and being exotic. Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, seems to be brimming with that inspirational spirit. Design March is a festival showcasing the products of 350 local designers. It attracts some 30,000 visitors. The annual festival has been going since 2009, just months after Iceland was pushed to the brink of bankruptcy due to the global financial crisis. Hosted by the Iceland Design Center, the event weathered the storm to become a fixture on the culture calendar. In fact, some credit the economic crisis as having kick-started the country's creative sector. The crisis actually affected the design scene in a way that bankers and or people that were maybe uh, employed in areas that didn't work so well after the crisis, they changed their focus and uh, started doing something more creative. That's the spirit that very much inspired Gudmundur Jöronsson. In 2012, he set up Jör, a menswear label. He enjoys an international clientele, but his clothes are also popular at home. I felt that when the crisis hit, uh, the attitude of people just in general changed. They started to think, uh, I want to buy less but pay more, I want to buy something that matters. And this is also, I mean, it's good for, it's a boost for designers. Vic Prionsdotter's designs are in big demand as far away as Japan. The trio's version of a classic fisherman's hat earned them the National Design Award in 2014. They use local folklore, mythology, and nautical themes for inspiration. But their range also includes a poncho inspired by the raven and a onesie that looks like a magical creature. We don't have a long history in design or something like that, but storytelling and literature is something maybe natural for us. So we thought this was a, 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 a right platform to start working, working in. And then from the stories, we create something visual and the designs come from that. Their designs are manufactured at a knitwear factory in Reykjavik, made from 100% Icelandic wool. Just a few years ago, the domestic knitwear industry was close to extinction, but it's now undergoing a revival, thanks to young designers. The Icelandic wool is a really important material, and in this climate, it's really important to have, you know, good clothing and good material. So it's not, it's not a lie to say that without the wool, we would not be here. So it's a really important material for our culture. The design boom has also given the sleepy dock area a new lease of life. A variety of designers have set up shop in disused warehouses. This former leather workshop is now the studio of Ori Finn, a jewelry design team that take their cues from traditional tools and symbols of maritime life, such as the anchor. For the Icelandic people, the anchor has a, a very deep meaning and kind of, um, it, it relates to our roots, of course. I mean, we, we are basically all related to the, the ocean because we're, we're islanders. The anchor symbolizes our heritage. We are probably, all of us are related to a fisherman or a fisherwoman or, or our grandfathers were sailors. The Icelandic Designer of the Year Award for 2015 went to Hildur Jeoman, who likewise finds inspiration in folklore and local legend. Iceland's rich cultural heritage is proving to be a treasure trove of inspiration for the country's young designers.